Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Kenyon Martin. And uh, Kmart looks like, in my opinion, the second best card from this bold set after Bill Russell. I think he is definitely a very, very solid card. I think he's going to be a really interesting, versatile, athletic small forward who defends his butt off and hopefully is really, really solid on the offensive end as well. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe and without further ado let's hop right into it and let's discuss this kmart card so kenyon martin six foot nine at the uh small forward or power forward position i think he's better at small forward 97 offense 99 defense coming with a uh 90 driving lamp 90 post game 92 mid range and 89 three ball 85 free throw 90 standing and 95 driving dunk 86 ball handle 89 pass accuracy 90 block 92 steal 94 perimeter 95 interior 97 rebounding 94 speed 93 speed ball 90 to excel 97 vert 94 strength 94 lateral overall really good versatile card 27 hops include back down punisher fast twitch master post spin post rise or rise up catch and shoot corner specialist anchor clamps interceptor post lockdown etc etc really good card brick wall blow by speed booster fast feet bulldozer removable enforcer he's super athletic can put the ball on the floor and he's an elite level super versatile defender so really complete badges has gold limitless has the gold shooting badges gold playmaking badges like he is a very very solid all-around card i guess could add touch passer open looks agent three spot finder that type of stuff if you want to add a couple of those badges to him but overall this kmart card is really good and i think very very well rounded as a small forward the one question mark that i do have with him is what we're going to check out right now which is that jump shot how is his release uh and that is the number one question as well as his sigs a little bit no I forgot Kmart has Trey Escape, which is a huge W, gives him kind of a go-to sig. And not gonna lie, that release is not terrible on very quick. I wouldn't sit here and say it's the best release in the game, but he's got an okay behind the back, a nice escape. He's super athletic and his release is not bad. Has pretty solid shooting badges, incredible playmaking or uh, sorry, finishing ability, and not bad playmaking either. And then he's obviously an elite versatile defender. I honestly think this card, he's basically, you know what he is? He's a better version of the Julius Randle we got for free last week. That Julius Randle's a good card. I think I think this Kmart is basically just a better version of that. Very similar as a shooter, very similar as an athlete, moves a little bit better. Um, and I apologize, by the way, if y'all can hear the yard work in the background. I have my back door open for my dog. I'm going to go close it after this freestyle. My bad, y'all. go. I apologize if y'all can hear that in the background. But he basically is that rando with better sigs and a little bit more versatility, I think, is basically how I would describe this Kenyon Martin card. Also an inch taller. So I am actually very positively impressed by this card. Between him and Bill Russell, that's two really good good free cards from this drop so uh not a bad bull drop at all let's hop into a game let's see what kmart can do all right our opponent is big ton one and he has harden nick young iggy moses malone and rafe lafrance not a bad team Igadala versus kenyon martin at the threes in this game um should be an interesting matchup to see what kmart can do against mr iggy uh let's start us off on the offensive end of the court we won the tip and let's attack downhill immediately use kmart as a screener got a little bit of a switch although moses malone is obviously a six foot what six eleven elite defender get to the ramp oh my lord yo they i almost killed somebody oh my gosh catch it come on kmart wide open three ball that works too relocates for a wide open three ball and Kenyon Martin starting off the game with an easy three very very solid start to this one let's let's wall up defensively straight up beautiful stuff good defense that's very very solid right there as well now we run the floor swing it over Kmart Kmart chill good downhill attack very good move Kmart with that tray escape I told y'all the tray escape gives him serious playmaking ability and especially the ability to attack the run with how athletic athletic he is there and he blows right by Rafe LaFrance Using that tray escape to create himself an open shot. We'll X switch this. I'm fine with that because then we can just play. Yep, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, somebody go guard. Oh, my. Okay. Well, they didn't switch the way that I wanted them to. I tried to X switch the screen. They didn't, but it's okay. Um, let's go right back to a pick and we'll go pick and roll here. See, maybe if he'll slip behind Iggy. Um, he will slip and he's going to slip behind. He's going to get a standing. Beautiful. The athleticism, size, and versatility of this Kmart at the three is really nice, especially with that tray escape giving him a really elite go to SIG to try to shot create at a high level. Unfortunately, we give up an and one there to Harden. Good finish, but honestly, not bothered at all by the way this game has started. A quick seven points by Kenyon Martin. He's already shown some mul multiple good things as a shooter, scorer, slasher, and playmaker, as well as even defender so far. Uh, reset here. We're going to go same side. Oh, relax. 
Chill, chill, chill. Reset up top to Hakim. Now reset here. Beautiful. There we go. Now we go same side. Now we attack downhill. To the rim. Draw foul. Ah, I tried to get it, but he gets his own board. Make a play then. Kmart. Make a play then. I didn't green it with Bill. Oh my goodness. Kenyon Martin is playing so much. He is fighting for me, man. Two offensive rebounds. He drops the ball because he's tired, but you know what? I'll live with it. Oh my goodness. These dudes are fighting. SGA playing defense, getting himself a contest. Bill Russell runs the floor. Back up top to Kmart. Kmart, drive the ball here. Dump down to bit. Dang, bro. That is so garbage. Oh my gosh. Give me a chase down. Tough. Not, I have an open slip there and I'm not able to dump it down. And that's tough. All of a sudden, it's a one point game. And Kmart has like low key lost all of the momentum that he had towards his takeover. Dude, his CPUs are out of body right now. Good lord. Oh my. I'm trying to run back with Bill and get in the, in the way, and Moses just catches and dunks. This is this is frustrating, man. I give credit. He's not playing bad at all, but this is definitely a little bit a little bit frustrating right now. Catch, shoot, Kmart. Come on, that's important. That's a big three ball. Catch and shoot, pop and knock it down. Love to see it. Kenyon Martin um, knocks that one down. That's a very important three ball. Guard the back door very well. There's step up here. I'm going to double team. We're going to hedge. We're going to step, step, get back. We're good. Watch this play. We're through the screens. It's an elevator play. Get through the screen, Kmart. That's a steal, 2K. No, 2K. Oh, my. That's so frustrating. I played that elevator play, and Kmart just ran past the ball. That should have been. I had it, man. I had him. Hit our pop again. I'm not using the screen. I'm rejecting the screen. I might use the screen after all. Attack downhill. Kmart is so athletic, but he gets freaking no foul. I don't know. It feels like the animations aren't going my way this one yeah, very much anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just complaining, but that that's, it's, it's felt a little unlucky so far. No block there either. Down two with a minute 35 left. The game isn't over, but it feels like things aren't exactly going my way. Um, see if we can properly use this screen again. Uh, suck him into the screen. Get downhill. Very nice. Honestly, I will just take this layup with SGA because that's going to be a wide open bucket. Yeah. That's not a hard bucket there. We're just going to take that to tie up the game. Smart bucket there um, with that mismatch. Or not a huge monkey smash match, but where I was in the court, definitely. Um, give me a chase. Oh, my gosh. He slipped behind Kenyon Martin and didn't give – I can't get a block. But uh, his ability to slip behind me there is, is very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's pop, Kmart, this is, this is your mismatch here. Uh, a little bit more anyway. Um, let's chill. Corner, catch, Kmart. Now we quick slip the screen. Slip behind him, catch and dunk. Beautiful job. Kenyon Martin has 12 points. Love to see it. He's played really well, man, honestly. I think he's been super duper solid. Tie game here with 56 seconds left. Uh, this dude is so freaking lame. The way... Oh. He's literally just five outing and back during every single play. That's all he wants to do. And it's so lame that that's your actual play style. But oh well, it is what it is. Sometimes it works in this game. It seems like it is working for him. And you know what? He might win the game off of it. But hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, time to get one bucket, one stop, another bucket, and that'll win the game. If we get a bucket, a stop, and a bucket, I think we will confidently win. Drive the ball here. Pop is open again. Well, not really open, but we do have the mismatch now, um, which is what we wanted. Now we attack downhill and Kmart gets the rim. Beautiful stuff. We eject the screen to the rim, dunk it home. Love to see it. We created a mismatch and we attacked the mismatch. Love to see that. Kenyon Martin does a great job there and ties up the game with 33 seconds left. So the first part of the three is done. Second part of the three is the stop and Kenyon Martin gets us that too. And the third part is the finish. And that's Shay with the dunk. I low-key could have waited and hitched Kenyon for a trailing three and that might have been a dagger, but we take a two-point lead here. Here. And now, now we play the back doors even. Oh, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Your bot play style isn't going to be rewarded anymore. You bum. Dump down Hakeem Dunk game. That should be it. 10 seconds left. A back door won't save you now, buddy. You got to actually get a bucket. And that, unfortunately, might be a tough challenge for somebody as body as you, Mr. Friend. Uh, Big Ton is not a very, uh, very talented 2K player, unfortunately. And for him, he loses the game. And we are very, very impressed, honestly. Kenya Martin, 14, 2 and 1, 1 steal, 6 and 9, 2 and 2 from 3. He's very good, just like Julius Randle last week. I mean, I think he might be a little bit better than Julius because of that tray escape. I like this card a lot. I think he's got a lot of versatility. I think he can definitely compete at a high level at the small forward position. Uh, and he and Bill Russell are definitely the two best cards from today's Bold 2 drop. So I hope you all did enjoy that gameplay. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.